Hi, I'm Terry Sabo, State Representative from the 92nd District in Muskegon. And I'm Robert Wittenberg, State Representative from the 27th District in Oakland County. And we're here today to talk to you about the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. Now, the President has offered up his uh, budget proposal for 2018, and he is looking to eliminate all federal funding, which totals $300 million per year for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. Now, the Great Lakes hold 20% of the world's surface freshwater and 90% of the U.S.'s surface freshwater. This provides essential funding to restore and protect the Great Lakes. It has supported long overdue efforts to clean up toxic pollution, reduce runoff from cities and farms, combat invasive species like Asian carp, and restore fish and wildlife habitat. And since 2010, the federal government has partnered public and private entities and invested more than $2 billion in over 2,900 projects throughout the region. And over the last six years, the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative has provided more than $425 million for more than 500 projects. Some of the projects have been on White Lake in Muskegon County, which has led to that lake being delisted as an area of concern in Michigan. We need this funding to be continued for Muskegon Lake to also have that lake delisted. And that's why we introduced House Concurrent Resolution 5 and House Resolution 48. These urge the U.S. Congress to continue the funding for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. 